But Bethel, before before I let you go, I have to ask you about one other thing because when you signed up to be on the show, uh, you said that you have a few writing projects that include spiritual reflections on Disney films, and I've always thought that uh, there's a there's a lot of good spiritual truth to some of these Disney movies. So I would love to know um, what. Of all the Disney movies, which one do you think sort of reflects uh, the, the the most spiritual truth? I would love to hear this. Beauty and the Beast, hands down. That's the one I would say too. <laughs> <laughs> um, very close to that actually is Frozen, but I would say that mm-hmm. Beauty and the Beast is probably number one, and um, it's my all time favorite movie. I actually have a Beauty and the Beast collection. Yeah. <laughs> that is. Uh, that's just always been my favorite film. And as I became an adult, like I started appreciating its spiritual value more and more. And yeah. very specifically, um, I was so fascinated when I uh, got the DVD of Beauty and the Beast for the first time when I was in college, the dumb Disney vault strategy. I hated it. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my yep. goodness. Um, but, uh, when I finally got that DVD, I actually found this bonus feature of the animator, Glenn Keane. He was the um, supervising animator on The Beast. And he talked about how when he animated that, that it was actually a reflection of the spiritual transformation that had happened in his life. And wow, really? La- yeah, and he talked about having Second Corinthians 5.17 like on his exposure sheet as he was drawing. You know, if any man is in Christ, he is a new creation. Wow. Um, And... Just knowing that that spiritual value was like literally drawn into the pages, like it just gives you a completely different perspective on the film. Yeah. Um, wow, and- that's that's very interesting. Yeah. Sometimes you know, sometimes as an adult, like I'll finish a movie now and I'll just be like, I know that that people that worked on that movie like were were I not not to say that they're like you know uh, practicing Christians or, or or whatnot, but that they that that they grew up sort of in the faith. Um, or that they grew up at least under like having like a, like an understanding of like right and wrong and redemption and, and that kind of thing. And Beauty and the Beast is definitely one of those movies. Um, that was, that's definitely the one I would have said. I would have also, I, I would have also accepted uh, Toy Story. I think Toy Story is one, uh, that has a lot of good, uh, spiritual nuggets in it as well. Um, about like identity and, and that kind of thing. But, um, yeah, that's, that's awesome. I, I love Beauty yeah. and the Beast. I, anytime I watch Beauty and the Beast, that's, that would, uh. I always, I'm, I'm always like, man, I just love this movie. <laughs> <laughs> well, and I, I also really liked the live action adaptation. A- oh, out- did you? Yes, I did. Um, out of all of the live adaptation, live action adaptations they've done of the animated films, that one was definitely the most on point. <laughs> um, okay. And uh, I mean, there were things I didn't like about it, but overall, they they did they did a faithful job of adapting it, in my opinion. So. And uh, I'm I'm really looking forward to basically like making spiritual reflections, or it will probably turn into a devotional guide. the The first one will be about Beauty and the Beast for sure, just because I've done I've, I'm so interested in that one and um, have done research on some of that. Um, and hopefully, if that one is successful, I want to kind of expand into other areas. I guess it's just going to depend on how long it takes me to write it. Um, yeah. The last few books I released toward the end of last year, I kind of they were they were shorter books that were based um, on old blog posts that I was able to basically kind of just go in re uh, rewrite some of them, correct some grammar, added some you know notes to kind of beef up research and stuff, and then I was just able to format it into an, a book and go because I had, you know finally figured out that process with my first few books. I'm kind of going back to trying to write some longer form stuff while also like getting back to, you know, some of the other things that I do, like on my YouTube channel, um, like I do some spoken word poetry and stuff like that. And it's just trying to find a balance between all of those things. 